Only in the last few years has there been an awareness that bullying is a big problem and a big source of suffering for many, many children. Of course, bullying is not a new phenomenon. It's been going on for a very long time, but for a very long time, nobody talked about it. Bullying is an epidemic now, and everyone is trying to understand why it is children bully. Schools are advocating bullying awareness weeks, and we're showing videos to children, and we're talking about it, but we're not doing enough. Schools cannot do it alone. For a true comprehensive understanding of why it is children bully, we need to go into the home. I believe children bully because they are a reflection of the pain of the ego of their environment. They're reflecting what they have inside. We can only give what we have. These kids are very angry and they don't have any other way to reflect it by to bullying uh, other kids. Children learn bullying behavior. The bullied child himself or herself is a child who is suffering, is a child who has been told that they are not good enough. And because they have been filled with the message that they are bad, they now seek to rid themselves of this message because children are naturally self-preserving. They want to feel good, but they've been told that they're bad. So what do they do with this feeling of badness now that they've been given by their parents who've been, who've been telling them day in and day out, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. And the, the child is going, no, I'm good. So how do they rid themselves of the badness? So they go around in school and they look at another child who's slightly off center in some way and then they project that badness onto that child so that they rid of that badness and now they feel good again. So the bullying process is actually a plea on the part of the bully for help. Milton's secret shows that the bully is living in a state of fear and the bully of course has been bullied throughout his life by his father and probably his father been bullied by his father in the same family, unconscious behavior can go back generations. So people are so conditioned by their upbringing that they repeat what's been inflicted on them by their parents. Bullying doesn't occur because of bad parenting or because of a bad child. Bullying occurs because that child has been divorced from their own heart, from their own goodness. They've been bullied into the belief that they are bad. And now in order to rid themselves of the badness, they have to project onto another. The victim may absorb that message because the, vic the victim too has been bullied in some way at home. So they've also internalized the message of not enough goodness in them. So they are more ready to absorb that message when it comes from the outside. The son simply lives out the father's unconsciousness and so on until somebody comes in at some point and says the buck stops here and no longer perpetuates that unconsciousness. Now, what if the bully picked the wrong victim and that kid who they picked on was actually a child who received very affirming messages about themselves from their home? That child won't tolerate the bully. That child will be like, you go back and bully someone else because I'm not standing for it. And then the bully will have to retreat. So that person did not become a victim. So again, it all starts in the atmosphere at home. Are we as parents putting our own baggage of badness onto our children? Are we dumping on them our own incompleteness, our own anxieties, our own lack? Or are we inoculating our children with enough self-affirmation, with enough innate belief in our children's goodness, that they come perfect, that they come whole and complete? Are we able to project that onto them? Because that is the true inoculation against bullying, period. That takes care of the victim and that takes, that takes care of the bully. In Milton's Secret, the screenplay shows that true resolution of the challenges does not lie on the external level. The true resolution of the challenges lies on the inner level. I believe that um, movies like The Milton's Secret uh, will allow to, uh, kids to receive tools that they didn't 
think were available. Most kids and people in general believe that suffering and pain is the only access they have. So once they see a new opportunity, a new door, they will walk in. I believe these kids don't know they have another option. They think they have to be bullies to survive in this world when they have the experience of love and unconditional acceptance. That's what they get to have access to their essence and definitely transformation is possible. I believe the kids that have been bullied before or the other way around have received the impact of bullying have a perfect opportunity to transform their life and use whatever experience they had to make a difference in the world in their future.